Hello everyone, my name is Zane Butts, and I decided to do my project on Eric Stoller uh, because this semester my favorite of all the photos that we took was light painting. I, I just absolutely loved it, thought it was mind-blowing, and this guy right here, I, I researched him up, and he is known as the Light Master, which I will show you why in this uh, PowerPoint here I have to present for you guys. So let's get on to it. He was born September 14th, 1947 in Minola, New York. I don't know if I'm uh, pronouncing that correctly, but he graduated from the University of Michigan with a degree in architecture in 1971. Uh, his dad was an architect, so he kind of followed the footsteps of his father, but during that last year of tenure, uh, or tenure as uh, a senior there at Michigan, uh, he became, or he started to get into photography and art, architecture, but uh, uh, more of sculpting and um, just becoming, or on his way to become the the light master later on in the the late seventies after he uh, graduates, but. Uh, in the beginning, before any of his photography, um, sculpting, any of that, uh, he would get in the back of his brother's uh, station wagon where he would film the ground, just looking over the edge of the back of his truck and filming the, the, the painted lights or lines going, going back and forth, back and forth, and then just kept them on a loop and played it over and over again. And as you can see on these four projectors, shooting downward onto the ground it it makes viewers in the gallery s makes them feel as if they're floating on top of a of a street there in in new york so it's a very cool idea just an, an out of the box kind of thought um another one right here i know the quality is not the the best here but it's kind of a, a psychedelic vibe with the wavy i don't even know how you come to create this right here i don't know what i mean he's an inventor as well um, so he must have made some type of uh, lighting fixture that he was able to carry out and just kind of create this tube of light going down this um, bridge here in New York. Um, but he, yeah, like I said, he was he is mainly known for uh, his photography and a, a vehicle that he invented, but uh, sculptor, painter as well. He's just got a an imagination that, that needed to be shown to the world. Uh, painting Poseidon. He uh, he slowed down his exposure time here and lowered his f-stop to create a beautiful light painting. The, the only light in this massive room is Poseidon pointing off to the right of uh, the screen here, but uh, his, his ISO had to have been as low as possible in order to, to catch all the light here on uh, every single one of these Poseidon uh water fixtures that are, are frozen in time but they're obviously gonna they're moving be or else it'd be it wouldn't be as straight and uh as precise as it looks um so he has the degree in architecture right loves taking photography using light so in his head he's building with lights using his degree in architecture while delving into photography so at the top it's called the light tunnel uh just a an, an, a a crazy way of of creating you know such a beautiful scene tunnel here but it's just light it's not it, it's not permanent um and then over here at the bottom uh you have the light drawing which um actually gave him the, uh, an invitation to participate in the aspen design conference where he furthered his degree in the fashion and design industry, uh, kind of putting a, a halt to his uh, photography career. Um, but this is my favorite of all of them that he did. Uh, it is my recreation or attempt at making what this this genius did. Um, let me tell you, it, it it really is insanely difficult. There, I I took. I took picture after picture trying to, you know, line up the car perfectly and get straight lines and, and just have a steady hand. You know, it, 
the technical part of this is is underrated in my opinion because you have to have a steady walk a steady hand to hold still to make those sure those lines are 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 straight but i think it is the sparklers that yeah, that kind of give them that wiggle room uh, to be able to move a little bit uh, without being noticed but it's such a cool look with the the embers flying off and that melting warm vibe uh but yeah truly a great great artist and then to finish up the the presentation here guys thank you for watching here's some uh, other art and inventions that he created as you can see just a super talented guy I don't know why the picture's not showing down here in the middle, but it's a. If you look him up, he's a. He's got a Volkswagen with you know, over 150 light bulbs on it that just flash around as he's driving up and down the streets of New York. He's got the seven-person uh, bicycle at the top right, but just a, you know, more art all around. He's a. He's an artist for sure. So thank you guys for watching, uh, Eric Stoller, a great photographer, a, a great light painter, and. Some even consider him the master. Thank you, guys. Have a good one.